William and Sam, man in the big green hat. I'm Henry Hilton, State Park in Central Tennessee, kind of south of Nashville, um, at a neat place called the Ronnie Bowers Wetland Trail. Now this fellow is a former, or he is the environmental program manager with the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. He did all kinds of studies um, kind of across the state helping damaged ecosystems and that kind of thing. And at one time, this was all um, agricultural land and he helped kind of restore it back to the natural contours of the Duck River kind of off that way we can't see it quite yet but we will um, would have created uh, during flooding and it's caused it to uh, well flood again and get all kind of wildflowers and we've got wildlife moving back into it now so I hope to see uh, I can already see just a, a plethora of wildflowers out here and I can't wait to get to the observation deck and we'll also be doing part of the uh, Wilhote River Trail kind of up on some bluffs to make it a loop back here about a mile and a half long or something like that let's go see what we find just look at all this in bloom it's vetch well the bees are loving this over there in the distance you can see some thistle there's our thistle just kind of blowing in the wind here Looks like the rock painting stuff is still a fad here. Keep one height. Post a pic on Facebook, Rock On Tennessee. Being agricultural land, much of this walk will probably center walking down this gravel road. So I won't do much of this. But uh, I'll try to include some scenes field out here all the wildflowers and things there's lots of butterflies just kind of fluttering around but they're way too fast to catch on camera but I uh, I'll try to keep it interesting white crown's beard my favorite late summer wildflowers Indian heliotrope it's one I just don't see very often but I'm never out I guess in places like this too terribly much. This little wetland trail is splitting off from the road here. That takes you down, gives you river access. But we will go this way, further into this wonderful little landscape. Ah, you know we're right here at a good little turn in the trail and hard to get this close to the Duck River and not go see it. The Duck River is just such a diverse, biologically diverse river here in Tennessee is ridiculous it's gorgeous every time I've been around it or on it it's just uh, been really great let's, let's go take a quick view of it there we are see that duck river Okay, back on the trail. We well, got this side full of butterflies and wildflowers. And this side, uh, a grove of, thick, of uh, sycamores taking shape. Interesting. This whole area through here is just real nice. That was a really nice observation here the wetlands and perhaps spring and winter is a better time to come see it when it's actually here there's a photo that will like in the spring and you get to see some of the, the waterfowl and whatnot but each season kind of has its own beauty or its own lure See lots of daisy flea bane blooming in here and these grasses. A nice little purple tinge to the green undertones. No evidence of the wetland. You can see in the photos for now. Just need to see this transition. Come back and 
four or five months and compare the two. Oh, now this is cool. See all these goofy things? These are milkweed pods. This whole area, we missed the blooms. They're full of milkweed again next year. Thanks to these seed pods. Wild sedum looking stuff. Lots of bamboo. I'm getting absolutely eat up with mosquitoes, but that's to be expected in a wetland, eh? Yeah, this is kind of a weird twist to me. All this bamboo all of a sudden. I don't know if this was introduced here or what. But, uh... Just kind of walking with bamboo on one side and... I can't tell if that's down to the Duck River there or not. It is. The Duck River is just out of view. Below this bluff. Over up line. It would take some considerable flooding. Kind of to get up to this part. But it does happen. Years ago when I last hiked this area, there was not a, uh, a trail here, and that was the original observation deck off of the Will Holt Trail. And that's where we're headed to. Some wonderful lobelia in bloom. That's awesome. Well, the trail continues this way. We're going to climb that tower for old time's sake. Get a view out over this field. Oh yeah. That's a nice view. Good evidence of something. Sleeps here at night. You know, the grass all smushed down. Good old Daisy flea bane. And it's around here in abundance. Got it mixed in through here with the bitch. Gonna use some thistle. Crown spewed. Moving back through the sycamore section here. Lots more thistle and wildflowers to be found on this side. Lots of butterflies too. Coming along on this little adventure folks. I hope you enjoyed the all the wildflowers to show a bunch of them. And the butterflies even though I couldn't get around to photographing them so much. And this area, this old field that's been converted, it shows what you can do. A lot of love and uh, determination to restore it to to something that it once was. Until next time, keep exploring and stay wild.